ESPN Champ Week rolls on in New Orleans. The Sunbelt Conference Championship Tournament quarterfinals at Lakefront Arena. Our second quarterfinal of the day is the number five seed Appalachian State Mountaineers take on the number four seed UT Arlington Mavericks. Look at the Golden Flake bracket. We've already had one winner today. The number one seed Louisiana rolled into the semifinals very easily. They await the winner of this ball game right here. Behind the back, Forrest, mid-range jumper, hit it. Second best green and now gets the ball and hands it back off to Neal who launched a three and hit it. And that is the scary thing about Eric. Neutralize or compete with UTA. Oh, great steal, huh? Shabazz steps in front of it. Got oh, that's an intention. One. That could be easily. Neal takes the three and buries it. That is the third three-pointer for Eric Neal, who has not missed a shot in this game. He's the first guy to reach double figures with 11. Oh, he comes trouble. off a curve. There he is. He wanted to launch the three and now will. And hits another! Eric Neal with four three-pointers here in the first eight minutes of the game. Neal gets it back. 13 for 22 on his three-point attempts against the Mountaineers this season. Make that 14 out of 23. 6'8", Johnson is 6'8". Wow. For the bucket again. How about that? They go out there and put 6'8", Tyrell Johnson on him. Mountaineers could go back court to get it. Eight on the shot clock, and O'Shawn Williams hits it. Well, yeah, and hit the floater. 22, and Neal's got it again. He's going to lay it in. 24 points. He gets out of it. Wilson dishes to Hamilton, who finishes. Gets it back. Forrest did it. Kirby drives, and one. Kevin. And will Neal guard Bartley? Oh, yeah, just going to be some great matchups. Hawkins knocks down the three. What a performance by Eric Neal today. Does he have more in him tomorrow for the Raging Cajuns? That is the big question. And a shot clock violation. That will do it as the clock runs out all the way. The UT Arlington Mavericks pick to win the conference championship, move a step closer to actually doing it. They are two wins away, but now they'll face the Raging Cajuns in the semifinals in what should be an outstanding matchup for a spot in the championship game on Sunday. As we take a look at the Golden Flake bracket, and now you can go ahead and advance number four UTA.